G'day fellow flight simmers and random YouTubers. Today I'm going to talk about a new radar or ATC radar client developed by a real world air traffic controller. I think he's done a marvellous job and I'm pretty excited to use this. I've, I'm, I've only been using this about two or three weeks and I'm no expert but hopefully I'll sort of pass on my limited experience and um, hopefully it'll um, encourage uh, a lot more people to use VATSYS. All right, so you've downloaded it and you've got your shortcut or wherever on your desktop. So we'll open it up. And assuming now you want to, you've got your S2 rating from VATPAC and you're super excited because you want to control Melbourne Tower because that's what I've been sacrificing all these long hours studying because I want to control uh, Adelaide, um, Melbourne Tower. Or let's say, we'll take, um, before I do that, I better check on VATSYS. Uh, Melbourne Tower has been taken. I um, know oh it's not. Okay. So we want to operate Melbourne. We want to control Melbourne Tower. Now, you open up VATSYS and you get this sort of thing load up. Now, when you open up for the first time, you won't get this. You'll get like a a profile or a dialog box and have profile select um, Australia okay once you've select that it'll go through all this operation so now this is the way I like to do it you'll get this basically VCS I don't know what this means but this basically sets up your channel now let's say we want to control Melbourne uh, Tower so and because Melbourne TCU operates Melbourne Tower. We want to open the Melbourne TCU. So we get this all set up. Uh, I can close this and you'll see these basically. You won't see this. You'll see these dialog boxes and you won't see that. But you'll see that. Okay, so now you've got this set up and now the first thing you want to do is because you're only responsible for the runways at Melbourne, you basically want to go to Windows and Ground. And what it'll do is, this is on another window, I've got two monitors, and you'll see this come up. So you want to select Melbourne, YMML, which is up here, and you'll see this come up. Okay, so I personally, if you're happy with this layout, then that's fine. But I personally like to have this aligned to what the um, charts show. So I basically have this, I click on position and free and it aligns it. Now, you can see here it's sort of a bit zoomed. It, uh, it doesn't get the whole area. So what you can do is you've got these hot, or not hot keys, your keys. Um, the only criticism I have with VATSYS is, VATSYS is a bit clumsy to sort of navigate. So um, what you do is with the scroll lock, it zooms out and hitting end zooms in. So I basically, and then the up arrow key moves it up, down arrow, left, right. They're the keys that navigate. So if you're happy with that, um, you can leave it as such. So now also I like to obviously have the... Um, uh, taxiway so see this ASMGS which taxi all you click that okay so now you've got that set up and you can make this maximum size if you want now like I said um, so you're not quite ready to go of course um, because now you want to um, set up your devices make sure I don't know, uh, with me, this picked it up automatically. This is the device I got. Okay, so once you now have got all that ready, you're now ready to connect. So position, or sorry, connection. Now you've got this here, call sign Melbourne Approach. It defaults you to Melbourne Approach. Well, because you haven't got your S3 running, you want to go to Melbourne Tower, position, tower, and connect. Now you can see after you do that 
this changes and you've got that there. So you click that, you click the Climb 7000, squawk 3220 and departures with me 132 decimal zero. Now you want to hit the primary and the And you can see that this is now active. Corners uh, 448 uh, coming through broken, unreadable. So now you can close this. Now we're monitoring because. Corners 494, climb flight level 190. One, up to 190, Corners 494. Now, these orange diamonds, um, you think, what are they? Well, they're aircraft that are on the ground. No one approached the air radio check for Jet Star 709. Jet Star 709, I read ability 5, how me? Cyber 5 for you as well, Jet Star 709, we request clearance down to Hobart. We've got information off score on board. Jet Star 709, I stand by. Okay, so. You can Close uh, 448, uh, you're coming through probably threes now, just about ready. Now, you can see here, uh, these are all the departures from Melbourne, and you see what these, you've got a, a flight strip here, and they're all, see this PRE, it means they're pre-active. It means you as a tower controller... That is bad. Got us four four eight. That's better. Thanks. So you can see these are all in the preactive state, and these guys, these with Vatsis, these guys should be squawking mode Charlie. Once they get there, you have a look on the flight strip there. Jetstar seven zero nine. Clearance available. Now this Ready, copy. Jetstar seven zero nine. Jetstar seven zero nine. To Hobart via Sunti planned route Sunti 3 departure runway 16 with an initial climb of 6000. Squawk 3116 and departures with me 132 decimal 0 for push. Contact me on tower 120 decimal 5. We're clear to Hobart via the Sunti 5 flight, flight plan Sunti 3 departure runway 16. Climb by 6000. Squawk 3116. Uh, departures with you 132. 2.0 and contact you for push 120.5 uh, Jetstar 709 Jetstar 709 FX Break break, Qantas 494 Climb flight level 370 370 Qantas 494 Okay uh, And Qantas 494, report passing uh, Waypoint Dosel Report Dosel, uh, Qantas 494 Connors 448, uh, when ready for push, contact me on tower 120 days or 5. Okay, so you can see this guy. Connors uh, 448, when ready for push, contact me on tower 120 days or 5. Now, up here, you can see that this is me, I'm on tower even though it's got Melbourne TCU. Here you can see basically all the... You can see all the... The ATIS is up and running, and you can see Melbourne approaches on 132.0. So, once again, uh, I have this on another screen, so my screen doesn't get... And you can see what the Melbourne ATIS is. Now, this is something that you as a tower controller need to do. Um, so all you have to do there is you go to Windows, you go to ATIS, Editor, and because it's already up, but you need to hit that button, Create, and you go through and you create your button, you listen, and... All stations, Melbourne, Melbourne will revert to Class Golf airspace from 0300 Zulu. Yeah, I don't know if he needs to say that, but anyhow. Um, so, yeah, so that's basically... Uh, the setting up now let's say for example uh, this guy here um, the Melbourne approach hasn't activated these strips but you as a tower controller you need to left click here and the colour changes and then on the call sign uh, just left click and you'll see all these um, alt, uh, 
all these scenarios, or I've lost a word for it, all these options. And so if you click flight plan, you as a tower controller, this is where you enter his Sid and Star. Um, just uh, stand by one, just hang on. Okay, so now let's, uh, for a minute, you, you've, you've passed your vests or you've gone past S2 and you've now become an S3 or a terminal control unit operator. You've got your approach rating. How do you set this up for um, for approach controlling? Okay, so if we go down here and we start it up, and that's his opens up. We get all this wonderful stuff. Uh, these are all the lists that I sort of brought in, but I don't want Avalon. I don't want that. I don't want departures from Avalon. You get this basically nondescript. Okay, so before I log in, of course, um, I want to know basically. I want to know the names and stuff. I want to set up my screen so before I actually connect. So the first thing I do is I, uh, I want to put in the minimum vectoring altitude. Um, I want to, and th this is just personal preference, I want to put in the lowest level for class Charlie airspace. En route, lowest levels, I want to know that. Um, and that's really, uh, now let's assume for today the ATIS favours runway 16. So I just want to show anything to do with runway 16 so it's just Melbourne runway 16 and names that's all I'm interested in um, this is also important because of being approach control you're also responsible for um, VFR aircraft in your in class Charlie so but until I see a VFR aircraft I won't initiate that I'll just keep that then but you've got to be aware of it and that's really me set up now all you need to do is once again I've got this on another another screen but basically I'm ready to go now so basically it's connect I'm connecting as the approach make sure you've got this right I'm not not like the last one these are I'm connecting as approach not tower and there's Melbourne approach and you connect and then you can close this down this always comes up, not really. So now you can see I'm now connected as Melbourne Approach. Oh, sorry, I'm not really. Um, you'll see this come up and now to initiate voice control, I've got to actually hit that, hit the primary and you see it goes pink because I'm only, pink is indicating I'm only receiving. So you've actually got to hit transmit. When that's all green, you can see. Now, if I hit my push to talk button, have a look what happens here. So I'm transmitting. So now I'm set up as the approach controller. Um, and the ATIS is very, well, it's exactly a similar thing that uh, the tower. It's not, not too hard. Um, and, of course, if you're providing top-down, you, you need to see the you need to see the runway and once again this is on another screen so position my mml and i want it in the free position and i want to have a look at all the taxi and like i said i've got this on another screen and now i'm providing top down service uh, i.e as a tower operator and a con as an approach controller um so that's about it really I think any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Cheers.